When the difference between winning and losing can be so slight, it makes sense for teams to set up in a way that gives them as much of an advantage as possible. Very often this is done by stacking. That is, serving or returning serve with both players on the same side of the court, so that as the point unfolds, a team can have each player playing on the preferred side. This is a useful solution if a player must serve or return from one side of the court, but would rather play the point on the other. But there are some drawbacks to stacking. Most notably, it's entirely predictable. With very few exceptions, it is always clear to the opposing team which side each player is planning to play the point on. Stacking has predictable movement patterns, both after the serve and after the return of serve. What we are seeing from more of the advanced players is a movement pattern that is less predictable. That is, teams will serve a return using standard positioning and then sometimes switch this positioning as the point begins to unfold. What makes it unpredictable is that teams will vary whether they switch or not. This is an excellent solution when an opponent is isolating one of your players. By sometimes switching and sometimes staying, it makes it harder for opponents to get the ball to the player that they're targeting. When switching during serving, players would typically discuss what their plan is. But when switching on a return of serve, it is more common to see hand signals used. This is a way for the net player to indicate to the returner what they would like to do. The returner should acknowledge that they like the plan, or let the net player know that they don't like it, and they should do the opposite. The timing of the switch is important. If you go well before the opponents hit the ball, there is a good chance that they will see where each player is setting up. While this may have the advantage of throwing them off, typically the opponent will have enough wherewithal to make the adjustment to get the ball where they want. A more effective way to switch is to time the movement for just before the player makes contact. By this point, the hitter's head is down and it will be more difficult for them to see, even peripherally, who has moved where. In many ways, stacking and switching perform the same function. That is, they allow a team to play the point with the players on their preferred side. Where switching has an advantage is that it is less likely to telegraph to the opponents what a team is planning to do. Oh!